January 18. The Law of the Spirit of Life For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus hath made me free from the law of sin and death. Romans 8 2 The simplest child knows something of the law of gravitation. The word is from the Latin gravitas, which is the attraction of weight by weight. What gravitation is to matter, the downpull of the flesh is to the spirit. There is not a single one of us, who is seeking to live the better life, that is not conscious of this downpull. Indeed the laws of gravitation in the natural world have their counterpart in our inward experience. There is always a downpull to the center of gravity, i.e. to self what I like, what I choose, what I prefer. The fall of the soul toward the flesh or self-life becomes increasingly rapid, so that every time we yield it becomes easier to yield, and the velocity becomes headlong. The child of God would fall with velocity equal to that of the depraved sinner if it were not for the law of the spirit of life which is in Christ Jesus which makes him free from the law of sin and death. Overcoming the Earth Pull You may see it in the soaring of the lark, singing as it rises, until you think it will split its tiny throat with song. One of the delights of an ocean voyage is to watch the gulls, as regularly, evenly, and easily they keep level with the progress of the boat. The bird does not float in the air, it balances itself, it measures its wings against its weight, and defies the earth pull. But if the means of flight are maimed, it drops helplessly on land or water. Alas for the bird, though it be an albatross, that happens to alight on water covered by the oil discharged from an oil-driven vessel. When once its wings have become glued to its body, by immersion in that oil bath, there is nothing for it but a miserable end. The spirit works according to law the law of the spirit of life. Do not grieve him by any act of insincerity or hatred. If you are aware of the subsidence of his energy, go back till you have discovered where you drop the thread of obedience to his gentle promptings. Pick it up by confession and restitution, and again you will become conscious of his mediation to you of a law of life that laughs at sin and death. Yours will be the wings of an eagle's flight, the soaring of a lark, sunward, heavenward, godward. But you must take time to be holy in meditation, in prayer, and especially in the use of the Bible. Prayer Help me, O Lord, to find my life according to thy promise. I thank thee that thou hast implanted the germ of thine own nature. Leave me not, neither forsake me in the upward climb. Teach me to change my strength and mount up with the wings of eagles. Amen.